Leadership today cannot walk alone. I often find myself in the company of African Americans discussing the severity of our problems. On almost every one of these occasions, I hear the disturbing words, it's because we don't have good leadership anymore. I have a problem with that, excuse me, black America, but each of us is a beneficiary of the civil rights movement. Each of us, young, middle class, and even those like myself, those gracefully maturing, has a vested interest in a better tomorrow. Each of us living and those yet unborn will bear the responsibility for a brighter tomorrow. Each of us must raise our own standards to the next level. That leader you wait for might be found inside that mirror you see each morning. Your obstacle might become your opportunity based upon your own response to challenge and adversity. That young man spraying graffiti could be the world's next Rembrandt with the help of a role model like yourself. We cannot afford to wait for leadership to develop. We cannot wait for someone else to become involved. In his last full-length book, Where Do We Go From Here?, Dr. King stated, evil must be attacked by a counteracting persistence, by the day-to-day -day assault of the battering rams of justice. God's infinite wisdom gave most of us the tools to be a part of the solution. We have not the time nor the energy to waste redefining the problem. We have not the right to point the crooked finger of irresponsibility while we hide behind the cowardly mask of abstention. If we expect positive changes, we must personally challenge our circumstances and commit our resources. As Dr. King did, we must become visionary in our thoughts. We must establish a strong belief system, make morally correct decisions, and maintain a strong commitment. Life has no quick cure. The nature of our illness requires more than the antibiotic of new leadership. It requires more than the sedating effect of a new plan. As Dr. King did, we must all become drum majors for justice. Drum majors for justice have different tunes to play. They have different orchestras to direct. The sweetest music to Dr. King's ears would be a symphony of black Americans, a symphony having goals higher than the best soprano, their minds finely tuned like quality instruments, a symphony of Americans displaying the mental keenness of the band director and the strength of a bass drummer, all marching to the rhythm of righteousness and equality. Whatever your talents and abilities might be, you have a place in the greatest show on earth, the uplifting of black America.